Hey, what is up you guys? I am James from James Jeptiles. Today is February 4th and we're in the reptile room and it is officially the kickstart of breeding season, right? All the snakes are breeding right now. Here they all are stacked up. Here are the blue beauties. You can see uh, the male and the female. Everyone is paired up. Of course, they flip their water dish as they always do. And today we'll be pairing the leopard geckos. Leopard geckos are gonna get paired today and uh, I'll show you everyone in their first pairing and hopefully we'll see some locks up, lock ups. I know we'll hear some tail rattling and uh, it'll be a good day. Now, these females don't have, uh, how do you say, they don't have lay boxes yet. Uh, I have a lot more females than I did last year, so I need to go get some lay boxes. But in terms of like we're pairing right now, they're not gonna start laying for at least two to three weeks. So we should be fine in that department. And we also need to get the incubator set up before they start laying. So with that, let's get started and we'll start pairing all the males with all the females. All right, so very first gecko, of course, is in shed and it is this super snow. Now he is a little small, but he's only with three girls and he's actually not that small. So I think he'll be just fine. Uh, we'll definitely watch his weight, but you can see he's in shed right now. I'm not really sure how that's going to affect his breeding. Definitely a male. Uh, you can see his bulge is there. So we will put him in. And they're definitely interested. It looks like she thinks he's food. Honestly, the way she's looking at him. Yeah, she definitely thinks he's food right now. She's not sure what to think. This is her first year breeding. Yeah, they're curious. They are curious. Alright, so what we're going to do is pull up a chair and on the side of the tub i have this sticky note taped to the side and this is from last year what it tells me is the percentage of males i made when the males go in when the males come out and then uh to do to do and then when and how many eggs were laid right so we're gonna do for this female we are going to do zero males. Uh, I'll just write it up here. We're going to do zero males. I haven't written with this pen in forever and it sucks. Zero males. And then the first male is going to be two, four, twenty-two. Twenty-two. And you can see this one is twenty-one. It's basically what I'll do is when I take that male out in a couple days, he is going to be, or I'm going to write on the side, and he's going to go to the next tub. So it may only be two or three days. Uh, you know, the first lock's always different, so maybe only a day or two. Who knows for sure, but let's keep moving. So next up, we have this girl, which is her first time breeding, and she's a little small, which is fine. You know, a lot of times that happens. I don't expect everyone to lay perfect clutches this year, but... You can see the male. He's actually a really big male, so him compared to her, definitely a lot different. But we'll see uh, if they do anything, and we'll start to hear rattles from all the enclosures. So this project is going to do all super radars, and half of them are going to be white and yellow. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a thirty percent. Let me use this. Basically, what that means is if I get 10 eggs, I'm going to incubate three of them in the male incubator. This is what that means. This project is probably the one myself and most people are excited for. Uh, Apex, always really skinny, but he's been eating roaches really good. He actually ate two pinkies the other day. So put them together. I'm gonna write the date first. So we'll do two, four, twenty-two. And I need to remember to write really small. I have terrible handwriting. I need to write really small uh, because at the end it's gonna get really hard. If we look at one of these from last year, definitely running out of space up there, right? So this project, I definitely want more females, but I also want a new male. So I'm just gonna do twenty-five percent. And we will see what happens this year. Look at those two. 
Those two are going to make some spectacular babies. Again, this male is on the smaller side, but I think he get the job done. They're not too far off in size. This is going to produce us more of the double visuals, the patternless eclipses. And uh, some of these are a little bit darker, which is definitely going to help out. So we'll do, let's see. We are going to do just 20%. And I know that's not a big difference from 25 but the idea here is we have the male double visual, right? We have the male. Um, what we want to do is produce four females and then we'll have like a group of like one to three. And if we get a darker male for next year, awesome. If not, no worries. We'll get all double visuals and then we can take it. And once they're all double visuals, we can get it darker from there. Right now, I'm worried I'm getting the double visuals and uh, we'll definitely get a bunch uh, but yeah, we might even get a darker male. Who knows? And we do have that one female um, down here, but there's no way she's breeding this year. Uh, she's she's way too small in my opinion. But she's a super snow. So next up, we have this Black Knight Head Eclipse outcross, of course, and it's going to this Black Knight Visual Eclipse male. Uh, these two actually bred last year, so they should already know what's going on. And uh, again, this male will be switched out uh, towards the end of the season for a darker male I have that I'm growing up. Um, and these are all visual eclipses, so I'm going to make this 20%. I don't need, I don't really need males. 20% is just so I can have some males to sell. And, uh... Yeah, I don't need any Black Knight Eclipse males. This group, this pair is going to produce me some. And I'll take one and put it down here next season. Maybe maybe Apex will go down here next season where there's less uh, less males or less females to breed to. And a newer, healthier one will go up here. Not healthier, but uh, stronger. Uh, Apex is not the strongest. He tends to thin out a lot in breeding season. It takes him quite a while to recover. So this next project, again, these two geckos have bred before, uh, but this is the Tangerine Tornadoes. And this project, I've had a lot of people uh, need males, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 40% male. I would say 50, but I just know if I do 50, I'm gonna be stuck with tons of males, uh, and I'd rather be stuck with females. But I had a lot of people want um more male tangerine tornadoes this year so we will do the last couple and then we'll go back through and most likely pick the odds for the other couple projects so these two geckos i got from rj clausen uh two radars two beautiful radars and their percentage is just going to be 25. um I don't really care. I don't want to say I don't care about the geckos. I don't really care about those ones. Um, I probably won't keep any if, between that pair anyway. But I have no uh, desire to breed those. Like I said, like I've said in every video, right? I only have limited space. Why would I breed, uh, you know, two hundred dollar like radars when I could breed? thousand dollar black knights or something like that right or five hundred dollar diablo blanco something somethings blood bells again i'm just gonna do 25 percent that's the best i in my opinion for selling because then people can buy female pets they can buy pairs they can buy trios whatever they want so that is every pair i'm gonna go back through and pick um uh percentages for all the rest of the projects yeah, it's definitely breeding season. Um, I know this video, I didn't really like explain a whole lot, but it's just kind of a look inside, uh, you know, breeding for me and what it's like. And what, one thing I really want to do this year is get a stamp with the date too. 
because I get really lazy and my handwriting is really bad and it gets too big. That being said, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Stamps are expensive. The date stamps are like $30, $40. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. If you are new to the channel, check out some of the videos. We're, you know, hit the 600 this week or something like that. Um, uh, and I can't wait to keep doing videos for you guys. Uh, yeah, I got my, oh, one thing I didn't talk about. I got my new computer, so everything's all set up. I've been playing uh, a lot of Minecraft lately. So if you guys haven't, uh, if you have noticed, I haven't posted videos quite as often as I have been. Probably because I'm playing Minecraft, honestly. Uh, and I've also been working a bit more. Uh, just trying to get just trying to get some uh, bills paid so I have opportunities to take days off work and do more videos. I noticed that week I was in quarantine and I did a bunch of videos. Uh, on average, every video that week did like 30% higher. So even though, even though, yes, there's more videos, of course, more people are going to watch it. Just on average, the amount of views per video was up like 30 percent so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will catch you in the next one peace out and keep enjoying the hobby